Have you ever wondered if it's possible or even how to automate your business presentation? Think about it. If you're at a beach or you're on vacation with your family or you're out and about, you could have five, 10, 50, 100 people or more at a time watching your business presentation, learning about your products, your services, or your business without you even being there and signing up business on autopilot. Is it even possible? right? I know it's against everything that we've been taught sometimes. Well, how do I know that you can do this? Well, I have done it in my business very successfully and it has worked and it has allowed us to create a seven figure online business without me having to be physically present for every single step of my business. Pretty cool, right? And in this episode, one of my good marketing friends and I are gonna be sharing with you exactly how to have this possible in your business so you can create more leverage and automation in everything that you do. So stay tuned. My name is Tanya Liza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success faster while most importantly, designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe because I put out a brand new training video and resource for you and your business each and every week. Now I am so excited for today's episode and I've spent a lot of time preparing this for you. I had the opportunity to interview one of my good, good, good friends. And I I like to say marketing friend, but she's actually a dear personal friend mine, uh, Kate McShay. Now, a lot of you guys might know Kate. Maybe you don't know Kate. Um, Kate's been on the circuit for a couple of years. She's actually created success in her business and in her life quite fast, actually, with her husband, Andrew McShay. Now, I met Kate at an event that I was at, at a marketing event, and we started talking. And about two months later, I met her at another event. And the results that her and her husband had created in just those two short months were nothing short of outstanding. And so Kate knows her stuff when it comes to automation and leverage as far as business goes. Kate used to be a uh, primary school teacher and this is why I think that she is really good at teaching this stuff. She understands how to teach. She's very simplistic. She's very step-by-step. It's exactly how I like to teach in my community as well. And over the years, Kate and I have become very good friends. We actually just got back from a trip to Greece together and we were sitting on the boat in the middle of the Aegean Sea. And she told me some of the things that she was doing with her and her clients as far as helping them to create automated presentations and learning how to present better when it comes to presenting their product services and business. And when I heard what Kate was doing, I said, Kate, I've got to interview you for an episode of Tanya Eliza TV. I think my audience would absolutely love what you're teaching. I know a lot of my audience uh, loves learning how to get better in business, but not only get better in business, um, learning systems and automation to be able to remove themselves out of the day-to-day activity and to automate without sacrificing the relationship with their clients and without sacrificing the income in their bank account. So in this episode, I'm going to... Um, interview Kate and I'm going to ask her to share three of her best tips when it comes to presenting um, and automating the presentation when it comes to your product, service, or business. So if that's something that you would like to learn how to do, you are going to absolutely love this episode. Now, just so you know that Kate also walks the walk, okay? Um, her and her, her husband, Andrew McShay, who live over in the Seattle area currently, I think, I think they're thinking about moving closer to us, which is kind of cool, um, but they have uh, generated over 100,000. 100,000 leads online, prospects and leads that have come to them and raised their hand and said, I'm interested in what it is that you have. And they've created a seven figure online business as well in a very, very, very short period of time. So you definitely want to hear what she has to say. And also, before we cut over to the interview, make sure to pay attention to this week's freebie that I put together for you because it will absolutely change your life. Now, I didn't put this together solely. Uh, Kate helped me put this together for you guys. So make sure to drop Kate a message or drop a comment below and make sure that we show some love to Kate. So without further ado, we're going to hop over to my seven figure interview with Kate McShay. All right. All right. So like I said, I've got Kate, the Kate, by the way, the Kate McShay on Tanya Lesa TV. We're on episode 81. Kate, 
I mean, I am so excited to have you here with us. And, you know, I said a little bit about, you know, your story and it seems so like formal because like we're besties. I mean, we just got back from a trip from Greece and we were hanging out on a boat. We were having all this fun and we hang out a lot. We see each other at a lot of events and, and we go on vacation a lot together. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, right? That's I know, I know. Thing. So I was like, I can't believe I have not had this woman out on Tenniel as a TV because you provide so much value and knowledge to, you know, network marketers and entrepreneurs with such great tips. And one thing that I love about you, and I'm so excited about this info session and for you to share some of your juiciest tips on how you've helped people build their businesses and also build yours is um, you break things down step by step. I think it's your teacher background that you're kind of bringing forward, right? <laughs> I have to agree with you. Yeah. And teaching those second graders, it's the same way as uh, educating adults. We all learn the same way. So it's definitely been a huge, huge asset for me being able to really help people in this space. But totally. And that's, yeah. you know, I do the same thing. I love, I love, that's how I learn. Like super yeah. simple, super step by step. Yep. So this, this just started. This is just like start. Let's oh. that's, that's get it. Um, okay. So let's start with this. I think this yeah. is the best way to start. What is the number one reason, like the number one reason you love network marketing? Oh my goodness. I have so many reasons. I can only pick one. Shoot. Okay. Um, so my number one reason for honestly, for loving network marketing is what it's done for myself and my husband and the people that we know. And I think the, the reason I love it is literally because of the people. Um, residual income, absolutely. The ability to be able to have that freedom to work your business when you want to work your business, absolutely. I think for me, when I got into network marketing, that was you know my time after leaving teaching. It was the first moment I realized how amazing people were in this space. And and I and I think for me, it's like you and I, right? We vacation together with Andrew and Caesar, and every person that I'm really really close to now is involved in network marketing. And so for me, it's like, I think the best thing in the world is that we all help elevate each other and we help each other grow because we're all passionate, driven, excited, positive people. And I remember that, that was the first time when I went to an event and I went, oh my gosh, these people are all like me. So for me, besides all of the perks of just being able to have that business and build that on, build your business from home, mm -hmm. just the ability to be surrounded with people like that is just, it's priceless. It really, really is. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So obviously we know you're a lover of network marketing and yeah. for all many reasons, you had to just pick one. I'm sure there's many, yeah. but, um, so one of the things that I love about you is the, the simple fact and why I'm going to be so excited for this interview is my motto is to help you build your business in a, in a way. And I only teach strategies that help people build a bit their business in a way that provides leverage and automation yeah. because lifestyle is more important than like grinding at your business all the time. Totally. And totally. it's so funny because I, and, and that's all the same things that you and Andrew stand for. You're like, that's only what you teach, like automation and leverage, because it's all about working smarter and not necessarily harder. If you can combine the two for a short yeah. season, it's good. Yeah. Um, but, but the thing is, is that we're on the same page when it comes to teaching and implementing things in our business that create leverage so that you can live the lifestyle that you want and have true, like true time freedom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got some incredible strategies that you've not only taught, but you guys implement in your business as well. Um, when you got started in network marketing, what year was that again? So how long have you been in network marketing now? Gosh, since 2012. And, and I got exposed to network marketing probably three years prior to that because Andrew was involved in it before I was. So network marketing was in our house for quite some time. But for me, I came on the spot right around 2012 when I left my teaching job. Okay. So 2012, yep. so you started, and I know because we've had lots of conversations, but these guys don't know all the conversations we've had, but you've started building like we call it old school way, then we're like new school way. And we both have like crazy stories about old school way. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think you no. have to have your season. <laughs> yes, you do. And, yeah. and it works, right? It works to an extent. So absolutely. Yeah. Belly to belly. You know, you yeah. got you to gotta learn how to talk to people. That's really important, right? Yeah. So that you yeah. can do it online. You got to kind of practice offline. And we've yeah. both been there. But what was the number one like problem after you were in network marketing for a while and then you started learning about the industry? What was like the number one problem or maybe challenge that you guys faced in your business as, it, as you were growing it to the point that it is now? 
Yeah, it's a really good question because I think, I think, you know, people naturally in this space, if you're open and you're coachable and you're hungry, you're going to do whatever it takes to try and build your business. Right. And so for me, I think what I found was, and I know this was for me personally, and I know it's for teammates of mine and I know I've done it through conversations that we've had before too, is we literally moved across the country, didn't know anyone. And so I was doing what I was told to do. I was doing a lot, a lot of offline strategies. I was actually taking, you know, post-its, putting them on the gas station walls to see if someone would contact me. I was connecting with people through the mall. I was doing all of these different strategies. And here are the things that I realized is that no matter like what network, network marketing company you're involved in, no matter what the product or service is, no matter what the comp plan is, there's one thing that you can't ever get back and it's your time. And that was the, the huge real, realization that I had was I was doing all the time, like doing, doing, doing. I was hungry. I'm a coachable person and I was told to do certain things. However, when I started to like work out the numbers on, okay, how many people do I have to approach? Even when I came online, even when I started connecting with people through social media, which is another great way to get exposure and network with people. Mm -hmm. However, what I realized was like, when, if I were to document my time, like one-on-one -on -one with this person at the mall, then go to Starbucks, then prospect here, or then prospect on social media and doing everything one-on-one, -on -one, it was taking me so much time. And I realized that in order to do what I wanted to do in our business, to really create that freedom, I couldn't connect with enough people in order to actually truly make it to where I wasn't working 10 hours a day, right? Or I wasn't dialing like crazy. And yes, those things work. However, I think for us, what my husband and Andrew and I did, and I know you've done this as well too, is kind of cracked a code on how to work less and really expose the same amount of people, but just in one setting. And so it's like, you know, when you talk about it, home parties are recommended and they work for a reason because it's like you get a bunch of people all to come to one house and you have someone present and you have this mass amount of people. You have an audience that's there for you. And then that's how you can recommend out either joining the team or becoming a customer. So it's the same thing where we started to think about, well, how can you take, you know, a, a home party or an, an event? Like how can you take it and how can you put it online? So you're literally doing 60 to 90 minutes of work in one day versus having to every single time you're connecting with someone, which, you know, can take five to 10 minutes each time, if not more, how can you just, it's more, it's way more, it's right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Where did that hour go? I didn't even yeah. hear with that prospect, you know, or right. <laughs> exactly. right. And especially when you're starting out, I remember calling people and going through the process and then being like, Oh my goodness, this person. And I just talked, I feel like I had a great conversation. I didn't even get a chance to invite them to my presentation and it took me 90 minutes. Well, you can have 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes of time, and you can literally get, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 50, as many people as you can into one spot, give one presentation, and then you're literally done. Um, and that for me is like, time is something you can't get back. Time is something where like, to really have a business that gives you time freedom, and that I think network marketing, and I know it does, right? Where you have the ability to travel and do all the fun things that we like to do. It's the ability on how do you crunch your time and still get the same results, if not better results. Totally. So yeah. here's, um, and, and I love it because you're going to share some really good tips on how you've solved that big problem. And I think a lot of people have, but here's why particularly I wanted you to come on with my audience. Um, you know, I remember, um, Actually, I get a lot of people that ask me this all the time. I teach people, you know, how to kind of have like funnel set up for, mm -hmm. you know, having an automated presentation. Like instead of you having to do physical presentations or one-on-ones, I tell people like, you know, shoot a video and automate that, right? Yeah. And, and I don't have any real good training yet on that, like how to put a presentation together for your network marketing company um, or your business or your products, your services that you're selling. Um, I know that you should be doing it. I'm doing it in my business and we've created a seven figure online business doing it. Um, but I don't have any step-by-step -step training on how to design that presentation because there are some psychological like things that you have to put into that presentation. I know how to do it. I do it, but I don't have the training for my people. And I'm the type of person that if I'm doing something in my business and it's working really well, 
I want to share it. I want to give out that information and have other people share their success story with me. Totally. And so we were together on this vacation just, you know, a while ago and we're sitting on this yacht in the Greek islands, you know, beautiful setting, <laughs> tough life, right? <laughs> and, yep. and you guys, you know, you guys have this really cool and, and you're going to share some snippets of this t- yeah. today in this training. I'm so excited for, but you have this step-by-step kind of process for presenting um, automatedly. Is that a word, automatedly? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know if it is, but I think we can make it, right? Every episode <laughs> where we do like a six and seven figure interview on Tanya Eliza TV, we make up words. It's so that's a verb. The, that's the word, you know? This is what verb. we can do when we build a brand online. We can make words up. Doesn't matter, right? I like it. So automatedly, okay, you guys have you guys have nailed it in your training. You actually have a specific like info session where you walk people through the steps of you know putting a presentation together and putting that on autopilot for people, which is cool. So I was like, you know, I gotta get Kate on the show. I gotta get Kate on the show and I gotta get her to train some of those things on the show, some of her, Mm. her secrets with us. But then uh, we took it even a step further. And Kate, you said, well, what if I put the info session together for your people and have them, you know, be able to take part in that? So in every episode of Tanya Liza TV, um, I like to equip you guys with a resource for your business that you can use to create success faster with. And today in this episode, since we're talking about automating your business, Kate's going to be sharing some tips and strategy on how to um, present to people so they actually listen to you and take what you're sharing seriously so that you can get some more signups, more customers in your business. Um, but Kate's actually allowed me to invite you to an info session if you guys want to dive in a little bit more. And what do you call this, Kate? The 60-minute enrollment method, which is kind of cool. And so if you've ever thought, okay, here's the thing. If you've ever thought that you wanted to do your own presentation um, for your network marketing company, or even if you're doing info products or whatever it is that you're selling, if you got something that you're selling or you're acquiring customers for, teammates for, um, and you want to automate that process, you want to just kind of like, you know, do, do like a webinar or a Zoom or whatever, right? Um, but you just don't know where to start and then you don't know how to construct that. I'm going to say, and I can vouch for Kate. She's a very good friend of mine. She, she crushes it and, and breaks it down step by step. So you can go to, if you're already on my blog right now, there's a big yellow button below the video and Kate will have that info session that you can register for ready for us, which is cool. Thanks Kate. And you can dive in a little bit more on that. Um, and if you're not on my blog already, just go to tanyaliza.com forward slash 81, the number 81 download. If you're on my YouTube channel or Facebook, look above or below the video. We'll leave a clickable link for you just so it's easy. And you can get to the blog. There'll be a yellow button. Get registered for that. Um, But I get a lot of people all the time that say, Tanya, I want to know how you do like an automated presentation because I see you do it. And I don't have a training for that. And Kate does. And she's like one of my besties. So heck. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm all about working smarter, not harder, Kate. There so I'm not going to go out and create a training if you've already crushed a training for my people. Yeah. All right. So we'll just, I'm leveraging Kate here, guys. All right. So I'm, Mark. I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to Mark do that. Lady. <laughs> but here's the thing. We're going to take um, some of the things and I, and I said, Kate, I want you to fill this info session here with something, some, some juiciness. Okay. Some yeah. juiciness. So Kate's going to share with you like three um, kind of strategies to get you, um, when you're presenting, okay. Or you're following up, um, with your prospects, get you more sales and customers. And this is based on her teachings with her clients. She's dealt with a lot of them. And so she knows the main pain points. And so, uh, Kate, I wanted you to put three hot topics of discussion together so you can share with us so we can get more customers and clients and sign up more business easier. Cause that's what we're all about. I so like it. Starting. All right. So I think the best place for us to start is it's really, I like to call it the three step rapid sales and enrollment formula. And that is actually what I break down even deeper. Um, but I wanted to actually give you the hot topics and the hot tips revolving around those three steps and actually give you a way to get started because that's where I find I get the most questions when people talk about automated presentations or how do I, how do I branch out and create my own? It's, what do I talk about? Like, how do I position it in a way that people would get excited and want to come? Right. The second is how do I actually invite people? (laughs) Like, what do I do? Right. What do I do to invite people? What do I do to start building a relationship? I'm going to show you one really cool tip on just a way to launch it and get it out there. And then the third is 
how do I actually get people hooked in within the first 15 minutes to actually want to stay? Because that's the biggest issue that most people have is getting people curious, actually inviting people, and then getting people to show up and to stay and to want to continue to like have all the information that you have, plus be basically revved up to buy. I'm going to give you one little question that's just going to be like an absolute nugget that you're going to love that just gets people revved up to want to have a buying conversation with you. Without oh, you I like sounding salesy at all. It's awesome. So they could use this even for like Facebook lives, any videos that they totally. do. Like they can yes. take okay. That yes. and that's what my people need. Like yep. we need this. All right. Yes. We don't just want to do any like unsolicited, like no purpose lives or videos anymore. We want yeah. customers and sales. Okay. So here's what's really cool about the first step. And I like to call the first step uncovering the big promise. Now here's what's neat is you can take this and you can use it for your online presentation on basically how to create what your presentation is going to be about. You can use this for Facebook lives. You can use this for video. You can use this for blog posts like Facebook posts. It's just a really great way to make it super easy to hit those hot button triggers to get people more curious and going like, okay, I need to talk to this person, right? So there's three questions and I want you to write them down as you're watching this three top questions. And I'm going to go through a couple of examples to make it a little bit easier for you on how to uncover what your big promise should be for your product or service. Okay. And the neat thing is like Tanya was saying, this works for if you're with your network marketing company and you want to actually position out your products. If you want to enroll teammates, if you want to, if you've got like your own info products, or maybe you might be an affiliate for somebody else's courses. The neat thing is, is that the psychology behind it and all of this works in any method, which, which I love. And that, again, it's working smarter, not harder, right? So three questions in order to uncover your big promise. So first question is, what kind of people do you want to show up to your online event or to your webinar or even to your Facebook Live? So this is actually one of those questions and it's not necessarily, I guess, uh, it's, it's not really sexifying anything, right? It's not making it sound super awesome. But if you ask yourself this question and you take like just a couple of minutes and make note of like, who are the people that are just, you would love to be around all day. Remember I talked about my favorite thing of network marketing is the people like, but who would you want to have as like your ideal customers, as your ideal teammates, as people you would want to go and vacation with on Greece, to Greece, right? So what kind of people do you actually want to show up to your webinar, to your online event, to your training class? Second question, and I'll go through a couple of examples so you know where I'm at and what I'm talking about so I can help you out. What are their biggest pains, objections, struggles, and fears, okay? So we actually want to have a list of all of these things because then it makes it super simple for you to position your product and like be like, here, this is what you need because these are all the things that you don't, that you want to avoid. And yeah. then the third question is, what are their biggest dreams and desires in life? All right, so I'll repeat them one more time. What kind of people do you want to show up to your online event? Uh, what are their biggest pains, objections, struggles, and fears? And what are their biggest dreams and desires in life? Okay. Now the neat thing is if you actually get this and you do this, um, you can do this for your online presentations, but you can also do this for, this is basically like a locked in little template. Like you take these notes once and you're golden, which is awesome. Totally. I talk about right? it all the time. Target audience guys, target audience benefits, benefits. Yeah. Yes. So really easy way to develop a big promise, right? So here are some examples. So that first question, who do I want to actually have show up to my event? So I'm going to talk about like, let's say you're selling or you're marketing like a 30 day weight loss challenge. Okay. And you've got either shakes or you've got something like that. We'll use that as an example. Cause I know that one's um, a real hot topic. Um, pretty much all the time, right? My clients are doing one right now. This is perfect. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. Good. I love when things just all connect and align together. Leveraging. You tell them what to do, Kate. They pay me. You tell them what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. You're going to like make me cry from laughter. I think that happened last time we were together. Oh, um, so example. Okay. So who I want at this event. So think about you're running like a health and weight loss challenge and the people that you're super connected to. Cause I mean, you could, you could do a health and weight loss challenge for people who are 18 to people who are, you know, 65, 70, the range on how you speak to those people is so different, mm -hmm. right? So the way I talk to an 18 year old and the way that I talk to someone who's in their sixties is going to be very different. So that the cool thing about this is you can actually create what you envision to be this business that you absolutely love. Cause that's the reason that a lot of people actually start to struggle is because they're bringing in people or customers 
that just aren't that fun for them to just enjoy, right? So you're building your perfect business by doing this. So who do I want at this, you know, for my automated presentation? Who do I want to see it? Well, maybe for you, it's women in their 40s and 50s and they're struggling to lose weight. So that's, that's your market. That's who you're looking for is women in their 40s and 50s because you would just love to be surrounded by women like that, loving on them all day, and they're struggling to lose weight, okay? So examples of pains and struggles. Now, this is, this is where a lot of people will stay, um, and this is a huge nugget. They'll stay at a surface, right? And so when I ask this question, people will say, oh, well, they're struggling to lose weight. Well, yeah, that's one of their struggles, yes. However, let's go deeper right? Let's go even deeper. So we know who we want, but let's think of it. it Maybe women in their 40s and 50s, their bodies are changing, right? So when they were in their early 30s, their body's not the same as it was in their 40s and 50s. And maybe their metabolism slowing down, right? And so the body changing becomes something where it becomes a confidence issue, or it becomes, I can't eat the same foods I used to, or my partner, my, my husband is doing the same workout as me and he just lost 15 pounds and I lost one. So it's this, this weird feeling of my body's changing and I'm not confident anymore. Yeah. Or, you know, and like another, another piece of it could just be that they're tired. <laughs> they're chasing their kids all day or they're running after maybe their grandkids and they're too tired to, to do what's necessary or what they think is necessary in order to lose the weight. Or um, what's the, the yo-yo diet? right? Where it's like, I'm going to eat bacon for 30 days and then I lose 25 pounds and then I gain all that weight back 30, you know, 30 days later. So these are true pains and struggles of what ends up happening. And then here's, here's the other side of it. Then now my clothes don't fit anymore. And I would love to be back in those, you know, jeans that I wore in my early thirties that I could like, you know, my little skinny jeans that I could zip up, right. And not have the muffin top. And so all of these things that create that confidence, those are those pains and struggles and they don't have a confidence now. So dreams and desires, right? Well, what they really, really want is they, what are the benefits that they want, right? They don't want the features of, you know, your shake has, um, you know, zinc and, and it's gluten free and all of that. They want to know what's in it for them. Well, wait a minute, Kate, wait a minute. You mean People don't want to join my network marketing company because we're one of the Inc. 500's fastest growing blah, 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 blah. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> That's what I've been telling all my people. Oh. The company told me to tell all my people I that. Know. No wonder it hasn't been working, Kate. Dude. Right? Man. It's companies tell you how to talk funny. benefits of what this product does. Yeah. Cause that's the thing. Like it, it's, I love, um, and I can't remember who said it right now. I'm having a brain space, but it's, um, people, all people want to know really is when they're looking at something and we're all, we're egocentric. We're just egocentric instinctively as humans. So the immediate question they're asking is, well, what's in it for me? Like, what can I get out of this fortune 500 fast growing company? They're like, well, what does that mean to me? Well, if you, if they have dreams and desires of fitting back into their skinny jeans of keeping up with their kids and running around in the backyard of not running up the staircase and then huffing and puffing because, um, you know, because they're so tired or they're so overweight, right? Or maybe it's that their high school reunion's coming up and they actually want to look like, you know, they want, they want to turn heads at their high school reunion, right? Those are things that people are looking to be noticed. Um, or maybe it's just waking up every single morning, being refreshed, and feeling confident, like in the body and the shell that you have with a body, with a changing body, right? So, I mean, that for me, like those are examples of that's how deep you can go to answer these questions. Now, what's cool is that it literally can take you like 10, 15 minutes if you really sit down, like put on a headset and just get really clear. Because here's what's cool, all right? So, you've just done all this work, maybe take you, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes after thinking about the questions. And then all you have to do to uncover your big promise is do this. How to blank without blank. It's the easiest way to get started with sharing basically what your big promise is going to be on your training. And so here are some examples, right? It's how to insert a dream and desire without a pain and a struggle. So for weight loss, right? How to lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days without working out. A little hypey. However, it is possible if, you know, people are doing it just through shakes or um, maintaining or changing their diet, right? Um, how to quickly recruit two to three new teammates per week without hotel meetings. So maybe you have that and you bring people through to your health challenge 
or how this, you can use someone's example, right, of what they've done, a case study. How this previous second grade teacher made a full-time income from home in three months without any business background. Now, that's my story, and so it's neat. You can share people's stories that are inside of your company to feature them, but do you see where all those benefits come from and where, um, where all the pains and struggles are? Make sense so far? Totally, yeah, and it's right in line with what I teach as well, and it's, and it's because it works. Like, that kind of stuff works. People have got to start thinking about benefits and that's the only way that you're going to get people listening to you when you go to present. I don't care if it's automated presentation or even in person, you yeah. got to start learning how to talk about benefits and sharing stories. So absolutely. Absolutely. That's what, that's what get people to show up. Yeah. Ab- yeah. And then bye. <laughs> and that's the thing. So that's like the, the, so the, it's funny because it feels like in the beginning, Oh, that, that feels like a lot of work, right? Just to come up with what, how to blank without blank. However, when you get that part, that unfolds everything else that you do. It unfolds how you invite, it unfolds how, what you speak about, it unfolds the questions that I'm gonna share with you in a second in the 15 minute hosting hook um, on how to get people engaged and wanna stay, right? And so that's kind of the cool part of what can happen when you literally spend, even if it's just 30 minutes of time and it may take you just a teeny tiny bit more, but you can chip away at it, right? Mm-hmm. When you get that, I mean, it's like, it totally transforms and changes how you present your posture in your business. Totally. Yeah. And, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are always searching YouTube or Google for like the perfect business presentation for them to use. Yes. And I, I and, it, and it's crazy because you go on YouTube and you see all these leaders in these companies that are doing like their presentations for their companies and they don't start with big benefit driven headlines like this. Very few people do. The ones that do are getting the results or people showing up and actually paying attention. The ones that are just plastering facts, you know, out there about their company and the ingredients and that they're not getting those kinds of traction. So if you're looking for that perfect presentation, you can get up with like your upline or your leadership or even yourself as a leader and design the perfect presentation using this formula that Kate just shared with you. And that's exactly what we've done. So I love it. And it works. And it was funny because we actually did this uh, because we were trying to hit rank in our company before okay. a big major event. Yep. And we needed like 40 people. Okay. So it ended up being, we needed like 40 memberships to hit rank in our team. And so Caesar and I were like, okay, like we're going to put incentive out to our team, but it's really up to us. So yeah. what we did is we did a live webinar yep. and because we, that was the only way that we could reach enough people in a short period of time to get those numbers. I think we yeah. had like seven days to do it. Yep. And so we put this little webinar really fast. Like it wasn't even perfect benefit driven, how I without, you know, and, yep. and we put that out there and we just did it. We did one, I think maybe we did two live. And we hit, we hit our numbers. So we got 40 people in like a week, but we would never have been able to do that one-on-ones or even parties at our house. Never been able to do that ever. This is the power of this guys. Like, so I know we're sharing a little bit, but just make sure like get on Kate's info session because she will go like, she will walk, she'll break down the steps for you. She'll break down the steps for you. Um, so I, so, so what's the next tip? Yeah. So next step, right? So the cool thing is, is you come up with your big promise and then you can actually just slowly start chipping away at the presentation afterwards. Right. But the cool part is, is like, let's talk about how to invite people. Cause everyone's like, Oh, I create this big presentation. Like Tanya was talking about, I have a seven day crunch. Like how do I promote? Well, I have a couple of different ways on how you promote, but I'm going to share you one easy, easy method that I think will just be a super slick one for you to be able to pick up and literally just swipe. Like listen you to, go, yeah, give them yeah. one. Yep. And then I would say the rest on your info session. With yeah, the rest. Yep. I yeah, have I'll, I'll be more on the info session. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, all right. So tips to like easily inviting people. Here's the first step you have to do. And this is going to take some commitment from, all, from, from you when you're watching, right? So if you're on Tanya's YouTube channel or on Facebook or on her blog, I want you to comment in. Um, the first thing is mark your calendar. And I know it sounds crazy, However, when you mark your calendar, it becomes a commitment. It becomes something that is final. And then here's the next part is it's spread the word. Okay. Get it out there, spread the word on what you're going to be doing and when you're going to be doing it. And so what I want to do is I want to share with you what that actually looks like. Okay. And what that sounds like, which is pretty neat. So when you mark the calendar and you save your date and my challenge to you is comment in on the blog, Facebook, YouTube, wherever 
and actually just like type in the date that you're gonna do your event and then I would call or text someone but if you really want to be frisky okay this is the easiest way my to people actually are frisky Kate my people they are, are frisky. I love it I love the yeah. friskiness it's there's so no fruits better. here everyone's oh. frisky. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's what I love about like branding businesses right you can just be fun and be authentic it's so great and you should um, be. and you should it's what makes it it's what makes it fun so Here's what you can do, literally. You can put this, okay? You can put this on your, on your personal profile if you want, if you're just getting yourself out there. If you have a fan page, that's awesome. If you're involved in a couple of different groups, um, obviously not, you know, like your network marketing company group. However, if you're like in a place where you're doing networking groups and you're connecting with people, great posts to use and have been able to get results ourselves. And I know a lot of other people have used it as well. Um, it's your way to launch it out there. You say, it's official. I'm going to be hosting a new online event very soon that'll help anyone who's looking, and listen to this, how to blank without blank. If you wanna be kept in the loop, comment message me below and I'll get you the details, okay? Super simple, super easy way to just get it out there and to be able to just keep it where you're getting people who are curious, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the next step on that. And this is really, really powerful too, especially if you're starting to work on planning out your presentation. So when you get people to comment and message me, right? Or you can say like, um, hit me up, Kate, or however you want to do it in a way that's authentic to you. This is how easy the message has to be, okay? And there's some little sneaky things that actually happen inside of this message that I want you to pay attention to. So it's, hey, I saw that you wanted to know more about the event I'm doing on Blake, okay? So tell them what date it is. Um, I'll make sure to send you the details in a little bit and touch base with you before the event starts. Just curious, what got you interested in coming? Okay. Now, reason that's important is because maybe you're, you're new and you're not quite sure about pains and struggles or dreams and desires of, like you know, of what your prospects want. Okay. You may not know yet. And I totally get that because I was like that too. I'm like, because you're in that mindset of, oh, the Inc. 500, you know, like there, it's a Fortune 500 company. But when you ask that question and you just say it, and it's like so nonchalant, right? Just curious, what got you interested in coming? If they're truly, truly interested prospects, they're literally going to just open up and be like, well, I saw you were talking about this and I've been struggling with my weight or I've been trying different kinds of diets and it hasn't necessarily worked for me yet. Or, you know, um, my husband's, you know, my child's graduation party is coming up. They're literally going to spew out everything um, because that's just what people do. They don't even mean to. It's just, a, it's just an open way for them to share their dreams and desires or their pains and struggles. So oh the neat part, and we won't get into it on this interview, but the neat part is you can take, you can like start having like a running pad, like a list, take what those people share inside the messages and you can incorporate little teeny tiny bits of that into your presentation because the more you speak their language, right? the more they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need what this person has to sell. So you're almost pre-selling them. You're getting them curious and getting them connected, hooked to you. And basically like, I have no choice but to show up um, because they're going to help me solve my problems. Love it. Sweet, I like right? that tip. Good tip. Yeah. yeah. Really I like good. that one. So, okay. So the next step, do you think we're ready for it? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? Are you ready for it, Tanya? I'm ready. I'm always ready. You know that, Kate. <laughs> I'm ready. Go. <laughs> always ready. Ready. Go. Oh, man. So. We're not going to tell them the bachelor party, bachelorette party story. <laughs> we'll leave that maybe for the info session. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do this. And then they'll yeah. have to, you know what? They're just going to have to find a way to come travel. They with come us. hang with us. They have yeah. to learn how to come hang with us because That's we have point. a lot of fun. <laughs> we do. That's the whole point. Is we, and seriously, right? Like we do this stuff. You and I build our businesses in very specific ways so that we can do those fun things. And then we all get to hang out and have a blast. <laughs> right. I love it. All right. And we so. mastermind. We do. And we do mastermind. And that's how things like this come up. Right. And it's like, how can we help each other out? Because Tanya's got an amazing set of skill sets that I don't necessarily have. And I have a different side. Yeah. So it's great. I love it. Um, all right. Third step, right? So 15 minute hosting hook. And obviously can't go into all the 15 minutes. Um, my sessions will go way, way deeper into this. Um, but here's what I can tell you. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of put you into that mindset of your prospect right? So you've done the dirty work. You've got your big promise. You've invited people. They're like committed to showing up. And then here's the biggest problem that most people do, right? 
they start going into talking about their product or their service. Well, I've got a couple of sneaky tricks on how to get people hooked in to, to want to stay and basically be revved up to buy whatever you have to sell, okay? And I'm gonna share with you just three questions for this round um, in this interview. So the mindset of your prospect when they come on an automated presentation, okay? Or I mean, gosh, even when they come to a home party, um, is they're preoccupied. <laughs> like think about it. Have you ever been on a, on a training presentation, right? And you're sitting there, you're with your laptop and the kids are like screaming in the background, the TV's on, or you had a rough day at work and they're just like, okay, I committed to being here. I know it could help me, but right now my brain is just like a disaster, right? Yeah. It's a mess. So, Everyone's brains are disaster. They they're just, just are all over the place. We live in this <laughs> world. Right. Like ADD all over the place. Ding. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then they're like, oh, my Facebook notifications are popping up. So yeah. you are battling against people's attention. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I see most people do wrong is they immediately start in with, here's all the stuff I'm going to talk about. Here are all the things that make me special, or here are all the things that you need to know about all X, Y, Z. And the best way to start is by literally, this is so simple, have your first like slide or the first thing that you say is going to be the big promise that you created, you know, in your first step, like, hey, so excited that you're here. You can even do this on Facebook Live because today I'm going to talk about how to, you know, how to lose the baby weight in the next 14 days without having to cut out your secret cookie, um, your secret, secret cookie cravings, right? And so you're immediately talking about them. And then I've got three questions for you. And I like to call them um, three questions for feeling into the future. And these are so slick. These are what get people invested in the presentation and actually start having that buying conversation without them even realizing it. So here are the questions, okay? Um, so you're going to use your dreams and desires and your potential and actually no pains and struggles, really. It's just dreams and desires. So the first question goes like this. How would it feel if blank? All right, that's it. How would it feel if blank? And this is literally the next thing that you talk about after you tell them what you're going to share. And then the next question is, what would it feel like to blank? <laughs> and then the third question is basically, what would that all be worth to you? Okay, so I'm going to give you an example because it's really, really powerful when it's done. Um, and we've utilized to this, we made this little tweak and it just drastically changed the amount of people that got on and continued to stay and like engaged with us. So examples, how would you feel if you had prospects and sales coming into your business on autopilot every single day? Now, what's cool is when you have people commenting in, right? Like <laughs> they get to comment in and, and you say like, Hey, I want to know, tell me. And they're going, Oh my gosh, that would be fabulous. That would help me. Um, I don't have a lot of time in the day. So that would be amazing. That would be priceless. I would love it. Um, I've been looking for something like that. So you're getting them to all of a sudden feel into the future of what it would be like. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's a first example. Second. I like that. I'm going to use that for my Facebook lives from now on. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Also do it for that. Yeah. Yep. And then the second question would be, what would it feel like if you had people reaching out to you every single day wanting to work with you? Right. So you're thinking about like those big pains and struggles that you made a list of is like, like with network marketers, I need more prospects. I need more people to talk to. Um, I, I run around and I connect with tons of people a day yet. What would it be like? So then all of a sudden they're like right in that ADD mode. They're all over the place. You ask them that question. Then you go, what would that feel like if I had people reaching out to me wanting to work with me? Oh my gosh. Well, I wouldn't be as tired or that would be awesome. I would be so excited to have that. Um, cool. So you're getting them to basically say yes in their head right? Mm -hmm. And picture it. So then that third question is, well, if you could have both of those things, what would it be worth to you? That's the buying conversation that they don't even realize it is happening, but you're literally opening up in your first couple of minutes. It's not salesy. It's not sleazy because I'm not a hypey person. I'm very authentic. I know Tanya is too. And when you ask a question like that, well, what would that be worth to you? That's where you get people to actually start to put a price tag on what it would be like, oh my gosh, it would be worth. And, I, and the reason I give these examples is because we've heard them before. It would be worth all the money in the world. It would be priceless. I would pay thousands of dollars for that. So you're literally getting people to say like, I would pay, I would give you all the money in the world. And so they just gave you this open door, this green light to basically be like, 
okay, I'm ready to buy from you now, <laughs> which is awesome. And, uh, and then for the rest of the presentation, you blow their minds, and we'll talk about that um, on the other training, but you blow their minds, and then it just makes it a no-brainer for them to pick up what you have to offer. That's what gets people hooked in with a couple of other tips, obviously, on how to continue to get them hooked in, especially if you're one of those people that's like, well, I don't have a lot of results yet. How do I do these presentations and position myself? Well, I can talk about that at another time because there's a really slick trick that I use for that too. Ah, uh, that's so much good. So I know a lot of people are, when it comes to like putting their own presentation together or sure. on anything really, um, what do you say to the, the people? So do you have, let me answer this. Do you have a process on what sh people should be talking about and then the structure of when, and then I think also, even I struggled with this in the beginning was the transition from content yeah. to now asking for the sale. Do you go over really good ways to transition without looking salesy or weird? And then obviously not. And then also people feeling like, well, I just stayed here for like, you know, uh, all this time. And I just feel like you, do you ever get on those webinars where like, you just feel like you're being so bad. the whole webinar? Yes. Right. It's the worst. It's the it worst. It uh, drives me nuts. Yeah. There's, there's such a better way. <laughs> That's all I can say is like what I did was just kind of crack the surface of how to, how to start getting things started. But I know and Tanya does it the same exact way is, is there's such a better way than hopping right into what your product and service has to do. If you do the couple of other things that I'll share with you, it will open them up to believing that they can do it. And then there's literally one slide that I use or one question that I ask, cause you don't necessarily have to do it through slides. You can do it like on a zoom. Um, one question that makes, it's like an instant shift to get people to be like, yeah, tell me more about your product and service. And it's like the slickest thing in the world. It's not hypey or salesy. And it's the one that we've tested time in and time out. And it's just, it's like the easiest thing. Just like, what would that be worth to you? And they're like, Oh, blah, 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 blah. and it's the yeah. same exact way. Cause I struggled with that too. I used to be oh. like, all right. So who wants to know more about my product and service? It was the worst. <laughs> yeah. And then you feel unauthentic, unauthentic yeah. with it. Right. And you really yeah. do have a good, if you have a good product or service and want to get it out to the world, absolutely. You know, there's gotta be authenticity in that process, especially for you to feel confident with it. Totally. So, so what would, you know, life be like if you had, you know, if, if you were able to be at home in your PJs, if you wanted to, right? Be in your PJs. People don't even have to see your face and you could be doing a presentation to like 20, 30, 50, a hundred plus people at a time in your own home, not leaving the house. Your kids are in the house, you're in the house and you actually have people from all over the world that are tuning in to your presentation and learning about your product, service, and business in an authentic way. And then being able to take the next step with you and you didn't have to leave the house, right? What would it feel like, right? If you could even record that session and now it's playing 24 seven on the internet for you and you could be at the beach sipping margaritas, your feet kicked up and your product and service and business is being presented to tens or hundreds of people a day and you're not even there and you're signing people up on autopilot. What would that be worth to you? Would it be worth maybe a little bit of your time to get on Kate's info session. Do you like how I did that? I love it. Oh. it right in there. <laughs> but that's what it is. I mean, for real, right? But if yeah. you got something good, if you got process, good processes and good training, I mean, Kate, I don't ask a lot of people to come out in my world because I got to vet them first. And I got to know that what they're teaching not only uh, is good for my people, but they're getting results in what they're training. That's yeah. a big thing for me. If you're training something that you're not getting results in yourself, go get the result before you start training it. That's huge in my world. And so one of the things is, is I know that you guys have created a seven figure online business through this strategy. Yep. And so obviously you're getting results and I'm not really planning on putting a, how to do a network marketing presentation training together. And you guys already, already do that. So I'm just going to tell people to go get signed up for your info session to learn all the little details. Cause I'm smart like that. And I yep. like leverage. So <laughs> If you're not already registered for the info session, you can go onto my blog and get that done. Kate's put it together for us, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can go to tanyaliza.com forward slash 80 
one download and do that. And then what I like to do really quick, Kate, Kate, you are so awesome. Oh my Thank goodness. Coming so out and sharing Thank those you. juicy tips with us and allowing Thank you for having me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe so I didn't honored. have you sooner. <laughs> and we'll have to do it again. Right. Because what I want to do is I want to have my people go through your info session and yeah. then I want them to come back with me and share results that they're yeah. getting. Would and then that. I want to showcase some of those stories with us on a next uh, uh, six, seven figure success series uh, episode. I want to okay. come back to this again. So that's what I like doing. But what I want to do is I want to do like a really quick rapid fire so people can get to cool. know you. Okay. So All right. Kate, what Pick is your up. favorite color? Your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> favorite vacation <laughs> spot? Uh, I have to say Greece now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Favorite business book? Oh, shoot. Favorite business book. Um, the War of Art. Ooh, okay. Uh, favorite food? French fries. <laughs> we were so the same. Chips and french fries. You are totally my soul sister here. Favorite podcast? Favorite podcast. Mm. I like Mike Dillard's self-made man, even though I'm a self-made woman. I love it. I do too. Mike Dillard's the bomb.com. Okay. Yes. Uh, favorite adult cocktail? Just in case somebody meets you at an event and they want to butter you up for, you know, we got to know what you drink. What do you drink, Kate? An IPA. So a beer. An IPA. <laughs> I am. I am so simple. No. No, no twist. Nothing. Hang with the boys, right? Favorite movie? Ooh, favorite movie. Ah, that's such a tough one. Oh, man. It's got to be a romantic comedy. Mm, maybe The Family Stone? I don't know. That's the first one that's coming to mind. I saw it the other day. I My haven't dad. seen it, so I'm going to go out and watch The Family Stone. I love romantic comedies, too. <laughs> hey, you are so flipping fantastic. I totally appreciate you coming out on the show. Is there any last words that you'd like to share before we tell people to go get your info session registration done and uh and then i get to hear all their success stories as well um yeah, from yeah. That absolutely well i think first thing tanya again thank you so much for having me on um i've learned so much from you and we'll talk someday about uh tell your people about how we met and i was just a little attendee and now we're going on vacation together which is super cool um for me though for anybody that's watching i think the biggest most important thing that i can share with you and the reason that tanya and i are so passionate about this strategy is that your time is valuable and time is what you don't get back. And so wouldn't it be amazing to actually truly build a business that doesn't run you, but you run it. And that you get to live that life that you love by design. And so for me, I mean, I, know, I don't know of a better way besides some of the stuff that Tanya I know teaches you too on how to automate. Um, this is like an extra enhancement to it. So it's a great add on. Um, and what I want more than anything for all of you is to have that freedom to life and just live life, have fun, and I know that it can help get you there. Totally. And I love, you know, I love the success stories that we're in. I mean, that's what gets me going every day. You know, if I'm ever having a bad day, just go over to my reviews tab on my yep. Facebook page. And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. You know, just a little impact. The thing is, is that you can have that impact too. And if you have a good product and service and good message, you, you need to go out there and make an impact with it. You do. And if you can do it on a more grandiose scale, apply more automation and leverage to your business, that is exactly what it is all about. So make sure to go and uh, get registered for Kate's info session on my blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 81 download. And uh, thank you, Kate, again, for coming out on the show. We'll have you again, I'm sure, in the near future. This call is a wrap. I love it. <laughs> Can you do this one? We'll do the first. We'll do the first. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs>